I should really use my map for this. Where did French people come from? Their ancestors. Sweden, right? Yeah. Where does the uh, ancestors of the English come from, the modern day English? Is it Northern Germany, Sweden, and Denmark, with some being from uh, uh, from the Netherlands? Yes. Um, you were do the primary ancestors of the uh, Portuguese and um, Spanish come from? Is it Central Italy? Yes, it is. Um, where did the ancestors of the Turkish people come from, the people living in Turkey? Is it the uh, Siberian steppe just outside of what the country of Mongolia is today? Yes. Do they share a common heritage with um, many Germanic groups and are technically a basically a Germanic or proto-Germanic group? Yes. Hungary, or Magyar, I think it's called in other languages. Uh, where did they come from? Well, they were the Huns, and they came from, again, Mongolia, or the area around Mongolia. Um, and they came in. Are they? Does that make them any less European? They came in uh, during the Dark Ages. Does that make them any less European? No. Um, they stole the land of the, what, the Dacians or the Thrace. Okay. Um, the Turks stole 90% of what Greeks considered their land to be. I mean, Anatolia was Greek. No, it was Greek. Sorry, it was Greek. Now it's Turkish. Um, even in the Bible, right, for the Christians and the Jews, uh, where where the uh, where's Abraham from? Is he from Canaan? No, he's from Ur, closer to Iran and um, Bahrain than he is to the land of Canaan. And then he only lived there um, for about a generation. And um, his uh, grandchildren uh, moved to Egypt, lived there for 400 years, then came back into Canaan and uh, conquered it, apparently wiping out all the actual native inhabitants of the Canaanites. Um, but uh, another group got there at the same time they did, the Philistines, which came from places like uh, Sardinia and uh, Sicily and the Greek islands and possibly even Spain and Italy and the French Riviera. And um, so it was those two groups fighting until the Assyrians took the northern part of the uh, what was once a unified kingdom. They took Israel, the northern kingdom. And then, what, 70 years later, the Babylonians took the uh, southern kingdom? And then Cyrus the Great came into power and, you know, said people can go back to their own lands. He had the Samaritans in the north. You had the Jews in the south. Yet, many Jews and Samaritans chose to remain in you know, the old places. There are many places along the Tigris that were villages that were 100% Samaritan. And you had places like Sestaphon and Susa and Babylon, which were shock a block full of Jews, um, as well as the Jews being the uh, city of Rome, having a great amount of Jews, as well as Alexandria, Egypt. And then you had um, 
Antiochus Epiphanes come through after Alexander the Great and try to change their culture. So you had the Maccabees rise up in the Hasmonean period, and then you had the Romans come in. And then you, I mean, blah, 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 you had 70 AD, and then the diaspora, and then the major diaspora of 135 after Bar Kokhba and the change in the name, their enemies, the Palestinians, you know, the, the, Pal the Philistines, also known as Palestine, Palestinians. So that's what the land got called. Um, and now we have people there who are like, I'm a Jew, this is my native land, even though, no, Abraham came from Ur, and uh, the tribes of Israel walked out of Goshen and Egypt. But okay, but even then, you guys are from, obviously from Europe and Ethiopia. You're not Semite. You're not from this land. The Samaritans definitely are. The ancient families of Christians definitely are. I mean, both of those groups are pre-Islamic conquest. Uh, and uh, many of the Palestinian families have been there for thousands and thousands of years. Um, well, if not thousands of thousands of years, at least 1,400 years. So, um, yeah. People move around. This is something, this is a concept that I don't think many people don't understand this. Even look at Africa. Where did the Tutsis originate from? Where did the Bantu originate from? You know, and again, this is from an African history class. I need to find the book it's around here somewhere. When the Dutch showed up, there was a group of migrant people in South Africa called the Khoi Khoi and the San. They got called the Khoi San. And they were Bushmen. They weren't Bantu. And, um, they couldn't live on the land. They weren't farmers. They were hunter-gatherers. They kind of came and went. And there were also places where they, they couldn't. It would, no, nobody had inhabited it. You'd stick a spade in the ground and look for any human settlement or activity. There, there wasn't none there. But the Dutch knew how to farm and do all this kind of stuff, so they built it up. So when you hear some of the Afrikaans say, but the, there was nobody there at the time when our ancestors got there. It was the land was empty. That is actually true. That is 100% true. Now, they needed labor um, to work the land. So they did have slaves, right? Um, but, uh, and they had actually argued about freeing them. Boer War happened, and then the English implemented uh, apartheid, which the Afrikaners never even thought about. So the idea of, of uh, South Africa as a black country, well, no, actually, it's it's not. Black people never lived there. Only the Bushmen lived there. And uh, in some part, you had uh, Zulu, which was a created tribe by a genius named Chaka. So, no. Um, if you want to talk about the first people to be there, just like the Maori or the, the Polynesian uh, were the first people to set, were the first human beings to set foot on the island of New Zealand just 500 years ago. Same thing. About that same time, just about 500 years ago, the first people to actually live in this area that was unlivable to most others, and the Khoisan lived kind of just around the periphery of it, um, were the Dutch Afrikaners. And again, I'm sure I'm going to get shouts of racism and this and that. It's a fact. How can a fact be racist? Well, why are there so many black people there today? Well, because they built up industry and they needed people to work those jobs. So black people came flooding in. They're still flooding into South Africa to this very day because it's one of the most well-off black African countries. I knew a Nigerian girl who was furious with Oprah for going to, to South Africa. She goes, Nigeria needs to help. South Africa is doing fine. Go to Nigeria or go to, go to 
you know, Togo or go to Liberia or go to Sierra Leone. They need it. South Africa does not. But, um, yeah. And that's why even to this day, uh, the Afrikaans have, they're, they're recognized as a tribe and they have to be because they actually were the quote unquote first people, just like the Maori in New Zealand were the first people, even though they got there just 500 years ago, because nobody else occupied that land. It's just a fact. People move around. I don't know how many times I have to say this to get it, get it through people's heads. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate and a lot of arguments. So I... I I've only checked certain um, um, comments left, but I'm just going to suck it up and go through all my comments. Peace to you.